Can you tell me a little bit about the idea between uh, about bringing the uh, therapy horse here and what that does for some of the residents, especially those who really have no one who visits them? Sure. Our church basically, over the last 10 years, has examined and kind of investigated every point of pain within our community. That's why we've got uh, chaplains riding the back of ambulances with the police. And when we uh, were focused on nursing homes, we found out that there's a percentage of residents in every nursing home that has never had a visit from the outside. It could be because of complete abandonment or family live far away or that they are old enough that they've outlived all their friends and family. So we started sending teams of people in and then uh, it was just a couple of uh, weeks ago I sat down with Lindsay and she brought up the, the idea that she's got a horse and she's training it to be a uh, therapy horse. And I'll tell you, when we first brought it in, the place lit up like a 150 watt light bulb. And uh, so it's been great for the residents. Um, we've had people step up and sponsor the horse, so it's of no expense uh, to the church or to Lindsay in relation to feeding it and vet bills. People really understand how important it is that those in our community, especially those in nursing homes that have never had a visit, deserve a visit. And that's where we're going to continue to, to keep this up. We're also bringing attention to, um, I guess, other parts of the country now. Uh, there's another uh, story that, that's going to run uh, from our denomination, the Assemblies of God, and it's going to go out to about 10,000 churches in the U.S. And they're also going to be thinking about their community, their nursing homes, and uh, what nursing homes uh, have residents that have never had an outside visit as well. So hopefully just raising the awareness, and it's kind of this little pony's really working it, but bringing uh, an awareness to, uh, to these individuals.